Welcome fellow mojos. This video is my humble attempt at creating a tutorial to help my colleagues learn to create videos on their iPhones using the iMovie app. If you haven't done so already, start by downloading the iMovie app onto your device. Feel free to pause this video while you do that. I'll wait. Alright, welcome back. Next, you'll need to create some clips to work with. I shot some video earlier at an annual Christmas coffee that happened over the holidays, so I'll be using those. To begin the editing process, launch iMovie. The first screen you will see is the new project splash page. Begin by pressing the movie button on the left. You will be directed to a page of themes. Feel free to explore the options here, but for my purposes, I'm going to keep it simple and use the modern theme. Select the theme you want to use and hit the create button in the upper right. You will now see the editing interface. The two most important buttons here are the undo button on the right and the insert media button on the left. To bring a clip in, click the icon on the left. The screen will jump to your source material. In this case, the clips I want are in my transfer folder, but most of the time the clips will be in the videos folder of your camera roll. I already have an idea of how I want to construct this video. I have some clips of folks singing Christmas carols, a clip of one of the organizers talking about the event, and then a host of short clips of the event that I plan to use as B-roll over the top of the audio clip. I'm going to begin by bringing in one of the carol clips. I don't need much of this, just enough to get the project rolling. Note that I can trim the clip down by splitting it at a spot I want and then deleting the portion that I don't need. Next, I want to introduce my organizer. I ask him his name to start, so I want to get rid of that part and then launch into his description of what is happening. Sure, my name is Tom Mulher and I'm Executive Director of Catholic Community Services in Lane County. I use the same technique to get rid of the unnecessary parts that I used before. I also know that he wraps it up at a point about a minute through, so I will scrub to that spot and cut the clip. Once I have that part as I want it, I'm going to end the video with more Christmas carols. So I will bring and trim another clip in to get me out of the video. To bring the video to a close, I've got a credit and copyright title page that I created earlier that I've saved into my camera roll, so I'll add that now. Okay, so now I have a basic little video, and really, I could end it here if I needed to. But one of the cool things about the new version of iMovie is the ability to add B-roll over the top of other clips. This feature really takes the app into the realm of a true video editing application. The thing to note here is that as you bring the clips in from the camera roll to the timeline, instead of using the downward arrow, you will choose the overlay icon instead. There are some other options that you should feel free to play with, but for my purposes, I'm going to use a simple over-the-top clip. So I have a nice little intro clip that I want to bring in to start. Note that if you prefer, you can use the yellow handles of the clip to narrow down the selection before you import the clip to the timeline. I think this technique works a little better than editing a whole clip in the timeline, but either way will work. Then, as you can see, I can continue to build the project by bringing in more B-roll clips as needed to cover my audio track. I've got a scene setter I can use after the speaker starts talking, and some details of different aspects of the uh, event. Hopefully you're getting an idea here of how you can use a nice combination of wide, medium, and detail shots to add interest to your video. Where I use the cross-dissolve transition in the main track as a way of softening the audio transitions, for the B-roll portion I prefer to use straight cuts. As long as the clips move between different scenes, the transitions look fine. Once you are happy with the overall edit of your project, adding a title or a lower thirds will give the final piece a nice professional look and provide a little more content. In this case, I'm going to add a lower thirds with my subject's name by selecting the clip and then tapping the type icon. There are a variety of choices here, but I will select the lower third icon and then add a name.
Note that the graphic will continue to appear even over the B-roll, and obviously we don't want that. So we can adjust this by splitting our main clip at an appropriate spot before we transition to the B-roll clip. As you can see, this results in a nice transition in and out for the lower thirds. If you need to make some minor adjustments, you can highlight a clip and using the yellow handles, add or subtract frames as you need. The final step is to replay your edit and make sure everything looks good. And uh, we're doing the Christ annual Christmas coffee, which is an event we do on Christmas Day each year, where we open up our doors from 10 to 1, and anybody who wants to can come in and uh, get something to eat, get some hot coffee or a hot drink. Uh, we've got gift bags that have been put together by uh, people in the community who've donated items and were assembled by kids at O'Hara Catholic School. Uh, then we give everybody a lunch bag before they go home that they can take for a meal later in the day. It's just, the whole idea is to create some hospitality for homeless folks on Christmas Day, give them a place to go and a place to be and a way to celebrate with other people. Uh, we, we expect, oh, uh, last year we prepared for 100 and we had more than 200. So this year we prepared for more than 200. Uh, we'll see how many we get. Once you are happy with the project, return to the main project window by clicking the upper left arrow icon and then give the project the name. I'm going to skip over the publishing options at this point. The app gives you the opportunity to publish to a variety of different video editing sites or to save to storage areas like Dropbox, etc. What you do here will depend on how your organization is handling publication. In the case of the Register Guard, the reporters are asked to upload to YouTube and the videos are embedded from there on any number of platforms. Okay, so that's a wrap. I hope this tutorial has proved useful. Feel free to leave me some feedback here if you have any suggestions. Thanks for watching.